Okay. Uh, good morning, guys. And uh, this is Phoebe, the training today. So today we are going to learn a new application protocol, Matter, and our new Matter product, the Tapo P125 Matter. Okay, let's, uh, let's just image if you have a lot of smart devices in your home, including smart plugs, smart switches, the serial mask system, camera, and so on. Maybe they can um, come from different brands and are controlled from different platforms or applications. So it is hard uh, to switch apps from apps to control these stuff. And we cannot talk directly to each other because of the technology barrier. So here comes a new protocol, Matter. Matter is an application layer protocol initiated by CSA, the Connectivity Standards Alliance. So in conjunction with Amazon, Apple, Google, and Samsung, aiming to improve compatibility and uh, interoperability between smart home products from different vendors, break down the barriers of the smart home ec ec uh, ecology and uh, simplify the in development process of smart home device vendors. There are about, um, until January this year, there are about 280 companies currently in the Meta Working Group of the Connectivity Standard Alliance. Pray, pray. And uh, let's talk about Meta Protocol, the Meta 1.0. Meta 1.0 will run on top of the red Wi Fi and Ethernet. These networks are local, which means they are governed and controlled with your home. Uh, you may be familiar with the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet, but for the threat, it's a new protocol raised uh, in recent years. Threat is the low power and the low latency wireless mesh networking protocol built using open and proven standards. Compared with Wi-Fi and Ethernet, Thread works in 2.4G frequency, and it is always used on the ba on battery-powered smart home products like Sensor. But currently, please uh, keep in mind, TP-Link doesn't have any product supporting Thread protocol yet. You can um, have a look. There is a comparison between the Wi-Fi protocol and the Thread. So, well, as we know, Wi-Fi is IEE 802.11, while the thread, the standard is IEE 802.15.4. And the thread is only works in the frequency 2.4 gigahertz. The features of the thread is there is no single point of failure and include ability, ability to self-heal. That means uh, sometimes when you ha um, when you have a Wi-Fi connection, all of the Wi-Fi devices connected to your router's Wi-Fi, right? And if some of uh, some of the devices disconnected from the router, then it will disconnect from the internet. But for the thread devices, if they're in a thread network, uh, even though one of the device disconnected directly from the the thread for the router. It still can connect it to other devices, the other thread devices in the same network. That means the, the ability to self-heal. That's the big differences between the Wi-Fi. But if you uh, you won't have a thread network, you need a border router. And the last advantage of the thread is it has to show a low bandwidth and the low latency, that means you don't need so much power to power on the thread devices. Okay, so let's learn why we need matter 
and the wide map protocol has been released. Based on the background of the matter, um, we conclude four main advantages about matter, including eco, uh, ecological barrier free, multi admin local control and bounding, and communication barrier free. So these benefits make smart home devices even more secure, uh, reliable, seamless, and easier to use. Let's talk these advantages in details. First advantage is uh, ecological barrier free. So in you, uh, from your opinion, what does the ecological barrier free mean? So as we know, there are numerous companies owning different smart home ecosystems based on their own technologies, such as the Google Home, Alexa, Smart Things, Apple Home, right? So to resolve these problems, Meta allows different brands, uh, brands and products to, con to communicate and cooperate across platforms and brands. Thus, you can see uh, we can use a new Tapo Casa app to integrate all your Meta devices or control your Tapo Casa Meta enabled products in any Meta ecosystem you prefer. So there are two situations. Uh, first, if you have non uh, TP Link Meta, uh, Meta devices, but you have uh, 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 the Meta devices from other brands, you can still use the new Tapo Casa app. To con control this macro uh, matter systems, I'm sorry, the matter devices. But if you have the TP-Link matter devices, you can still uh, use this third-party application like the Google Home, Alexa, Smart Things to control the TP-Link smart devices. But just to pay attention. Tapo Casa version with Meta support is still under further development. So currently, um, only we can only be controlled by the third party application, but the Tapo Casa app cannot control the other Meta devices from other brands. But the firmware will be released in the future. Okay, next, the second advantage is multi-admin. It is easy to understand. The multi-admin feature means I can connect the devices to other apps and accounts all at the same time. So generally speaking, there are also two situations. The first is um, in different ecosystem, like the Alexa system and the Apple system, uh, you, you will have two different accounts. One is the Alexa account and the other is the Apple account, right? So um, with Matter, for example, you can use the Apple account in Apple Home app to control a Matter devices found in the Alexa app and vice versa. So this, uh, for example, this Matter Bob is bound to the Alexa app uh, at the beginning. But if it is also bound to the Apple Home and under your Apple account, this matter bob can be controlled by your Apple account in the Apple Home app as well. This is the first situation. And the second situation, uh, like is similar to our shared account, but they're different. That means the multi admin in the same ecosystems. Uh, some some of the customers uh, may have its own TP-Link account or Apple account, but maybe his family also have another Apple account. In this way, uh, these two accounts can control this smart uh, matter bob together and uh, different from the shared account, they have the same privilege. So this is the point we need to pay attention to. Let me repeat. So as uh, in the same ecosystem, you and your family members are running different accounts, the Apple ID 1, Apple ID 2. 
So as on the account, you have more priorities than accounts of other manager accounts, right? But with the matter network, uh, different accounts have the same privileges. So uh, normally, if you're using a TP-Link camera, uh, you will see that the owner account can watch the live view to change the recording schedules. But for the shared account, they can only watch the live view. They cannot change any other advanced settings. But for the matters, if these uh, devices is a matter devices, and uh, there is no differences between the owner account and the, the shared account, the manager account. Okay, the third advantage is local control and bounding. The matter, uh, as we talked earlier, matter is a local technology. That means devices in the same home network can talk directly to each other. So the smart light switch doesn't have to connect all the way out of uh, out to the internet across the clouds and back to the turn on or off. That's complicated. If your internet disconnect, then uh, these these smart switches cannot be turned on or off. Uh, with in the third party account, right? A uh, third party application. So take our non matter devices as, as example. We can only use Temple Casa app to control smart devices locally, right? And if there is no internet access in the home network, we cannot use third party applications such as Alexa app to control it anymore without internet access. But however, Meta devices can interact reliably and directly with, uh, with each other end to end over a local connection. So local automation, which are then uh, managed by a meta controller is possible between meta devices after bounding functional client server relationships. Uh, what does this mean? <laughs> In conclusion, there are two major steps to achieve local automation. First, bound the two matter devices in the same ecosystem with a hub. For example, this matter sensor and the matter light have been bound into one ecosystem, a TP Link system. Uh, normally, if you use the Alexa app, you cannot uh, control the matter sensor and the matter light. Uh, even they and even though they're in a local network, right? But for the matter, it can be reach, uh, achieved. The second step is the customized automation for them and implement automation in the same network. So even though there is no internet access and your phone is um, side, already signed in your Alexa app and uh, your phone and your matter sensor, the matter light in the same network, in the same home network, you can still use the Alexa app to control your matter sensor, the TP-Link matter sensor and the TP-Link matter light, because they don't need to um, send the data to the cloud server anymore. They can send the data into the hub directly. Later, I will talk about what is the hub. So now you just need to know, uh, with the matter network, the local control and bounding can be achieved. But, but please note that the local automation bounding features to be supported by the third party development update. That means the third party application doesn't support the local automation, these features yet. And so does the TP Link, Casa, or Temple app. So this is just uh, imagination or the, the features in the future. And the last advantage is communication barrier free. As we talked earlier, matter uh, can run on top of a thread, Wi Fi, and the Ethernet. Matter uses Wi Fi technologies as Ethernet and the thread mesh network for communicating, as well as using Bluetooth low energy for commissioning. So matter devices 
uh, when they're using the uh, when there is the Wi-Fi devices, the wired devices, and the direct devices in the home network. Normally, the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet, the wired connect devices, can talk to each other because they have they have uh, a, a locate they have been allocated the IP address so they can talk in the same network. But for the threat devices, because uh, different from the Wi-Fi and the Ethernet, uh, the threat devices cannot be allocated by the IP. So strictly speaking, these threat devices cannot uh, cannot talk to the the wired devices or the Wi-Fi devices. But if they if there is a border router uh, with the threat and all of these devices are the metal devices, then they can break these barriers. So let's take a look at how all these pieces come together. So first, there is a metal controller, the metal hub, which can be built into many types of devices, typically to a local network via Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or Strat. So Meta works seamlessly over all these IP uh, networks. Even though Meta natively supports Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and Strat, its goal is to reduce fragmentation in smartphones that may already have devices using other networking technologies. So that means in the future, um, the, the Meta will support more and more IP networks or the other uh, networks to, uh, to be supported. Okay, this um, all the advantages about the NATO protocol. So next, we need to learn how to start NATO and what kind of steps we need to prepare before starting NATO. So matters help resolve um, smart home setup by standard uh, standardizing the process across brands and devices, focusing on a consistent set of steps with security and privacy in mind. Before starting the matter, uh, there are a few steps we need to down. We need to do. So um, actually. To build a complete meta ecosystem, what we need are not only a meta devices, but also the things as following. First, you need to have a third party account. So, such like the Alexa account, Apple account, and the Google, uh, Google account. The second, you need to um, Prepare all these things in the same home Wi-Fi network, like your controller, the hub, the meta devices, your phone. All of these devices should be in the same home Wi-Fi network when when they are set up. The third is the matter enabled devices. Of, of course, we need a matter devices so that we can start matter. And for the table. The Tablet Plug Tablet P125M. There is a metal logo um, printed on the, the plug itself, so we can easily to uh, identify which plug is the metal plug. And uh, for all of uh, actually for all of the metal devices, there should be a metal logo. And if you have the devices which use the thread, you, you need to also a uh, thread border router. But because the TP Link doesn't have any thread uh, devices, so we, we won't talk in details about the thread or the border router. The first thing is uh, you got a mobile phone with matter enabled third party smart home app. Because currently, not all of the third-party apps support the Meta protocol. So the most common applications are used to supporting Meta protocol is the Alexa, the Alexa, um, the Google Home, Apple Home, Smart Things. This is the more 
uh, the four mainstream applications. Okay, the last thing you need is the matter enabled third party controller. So, uh, and please note that the third party of the smartphone app and the third party of the matter enabled controller mentioned about are the same one. Like the, if you got an Alexa app, then you need to buy an Alexa Echo or the other Alexa controller. If you have an Apple account, like the Apple Home application, then you need to buy an Apple uh, hub. So why we need a Meta controller? Let's see. So Meta controller also called a hub, which serves as a local server on a local matter network. It coordinates all the matter devices and allow the matter devices onto, under a local network to respond to commands and communicate with each other. So uh, do you remember when we talked about the last advantage of the matter? It is the communication barrier free, right? So with the controller or the hub, the devices in threat network, in Wi-Fi network, and in the Ethernet network can communicate with each other directly. So that's that. That's the first um, reason why we need a matter controller. And the next, uh, the matter controller enables your matter device paired to corresponding third-party app. And the second is. The, um, the matter hub enables your phone to control matter devices with corresponding third party app directly. This is the third, um, I'm sorry, the third or second. This is the third advantage local control and bounding. So, with the controller, we can achieve the local control and bounding. Um, excuse me, I yeah. have a question. So this doesn't mean that you really need to buy a Google speaker or a, a Echo Dot. You just need to have the application on your phone and that's enough already. Uh, no, actually, we, uh, apart from the application, you also need to buy a hub because this hub is the key point. So we, the customers still need to have uh, Google Speaker, Alexa Hub, and so on. Yes, like uh, I just uh, mentioned, uh, first you need to have a third-party account and a third-party mm. smart home app. And the second is the home Wi-Fi network. And third is the matter-enabled devices. And the last thing is the matter-enabled third-party controller. Because it uh, says there are no third-party of smart home app and third party of matter enabled controller are the same one. Uh, this means this smart, uh, smart home app and uh, the controller should be a same brand. So like mm. if you download the Alexa app, then you need to buy buy a Alexa Echo hub. It's oh, okay. App that you okay, need to I got you. Yeah. Okay, so this, uh, this is why we need a third-party controller. So this is the key point. If without this third-party controller, the matrix network cannot be built. And also with a matter controller, it can enable local Wi-Fi and the Ethernet based matter networks to access the internet, supporting remote access to matter devices. So like, uh, like most of our Tapo and uh, Casa devices, we need to download the Tapo and the Casa applications to remotely control the, the our Tapo and Casa devices. Uh, same as matter devices. We need a, um, we need to enable the local Wi-Fi and the Ethernet based matter network to access the internet and to so that we can use the third party applications to control these matter devices. Uh, 
this is the hub. Uh, this is some co common hubs in the market. So now let's do the topic about the remote control between the non-matter devices and matter devices. After learning, you will know how remote control works in matter network. So this is the matter network. When we remotely control the matter devices, that means your phone is uh, is using the mobile data or the other Wi-Fi networks. Your phone is not in the home, so that we need to remotely control the devices in the home. So from these pictures, you can see, um, because we can use the third party application to control the matter devices directly without uh, using the TAPO or CASA applications. So when, you, when your phone is away from the home and you open the third party app to send an order or command to a matter bulb, such like uh, you want to turn on the matter bulb. So first your, uh, your phone will send a data to your internet service provider, and your internet service provider will transfer this data to the third-party cloud. And then uh, once the third-party cloud receives your commands, it will transfer to your router, and your router will continue to transfer this data to your matter hub. So in this way, the matter hub receives the commands from the third-party application. It will um, require that this matter bot to respond. So this is the way to remote control uh, in the uh, for the remote control about the matter devices. How about the non matter devices? Look at these pictures. Uh, for example, we have a TP Link bulb, the L920. And if you want to use a third party applications like the Alexa, um, just to image this bulb has already bound linked to the Alexa app. So if you uh, if you're you are away from home, you open the Alexa app, you want to open this to turn on this this L920. First, the phone will send to uh, the commands to the internet service provider. The internet server service provider will firstly transfer this data to the third party cloud, which is the Amazon cloud, because Alexa uses the Amazon cloud. And Amazon cloud will transfer the data to the TP Link IoT cloud. Because you are using the matter bot, it is using the TP Link IoT cloud. So after that, the TP-Link IoT cloud will transfer the data to back to the uh, to the router, and the router uh, require the matter bulb, the L920, to respond uh, for the commands from the third-party app. So as you can see, compared with the matter devices, the remote control uh, in non-matter devices need to transfer data. Uh, to the TP-Link cloud as well. So if there is one cloud has the issue, then this, this um, process will be interrupted. So I think these two are the differences between the uh, remote control for non-meta devices and meta devices is easy to understand, right? Let's review. Uh, the remote control in the matter devices, we need only uh, across uh, one third party cloud. But if you have a non matter devices, we need to um, go through two clouds. But in this way, we, need, we don't need to use a hub because uh, we also already send the data into the TP Link cloud. The TP-Link cloud can send the, the, the comments to the, to the TP-Link bulb directly. But if you're using the matter, you need to use the controller. Sorry. 
you need to use the matter how to uh, respond to commands from the third party cloud. So let's see, um, apart from the remote control, we need to know how the local network works uh, for the Meta devices. So firstly, uh, the second picture is the, the most common scenario we can see uh, we have a third-party app and a TP-Link fob, a non-matter TP-Link fob. If you want to use a third-party application, even though they are in the same home network, uh, if you want to use the third-party applications to command or to control this fob, you, these data still need to transfer to the internet and back to the the matter box. But if the router disconnected from the internet, then you cannot use the third party application to control your non matter box anymore, even though they're in the same network. But with the, the matter network, because we, uh, we have a matter controller, the matter controller can be used as a hub to control all of your matter devices and your third party application. So even though the router disconnected from the, uh, from the internet, uh, you can open your third party app and uh, to send a command like to turn on the fob, the re request will send bypass the internet to the matter controller directly. And the matter controller will send this command to the matter box. So this also, like we talked, uh, we mentioned the local control and the bounding. You can still use the third party applications to control your matter box, even though uh, in, in the same network, even though there is no internet access. So this, uh, I think these two scenarios is easy, easy to understand. So let's talk about some matter enabled third party controller. Currently up to now, uh, they're all of the, the controllers were hubs supporting matter protocol now. For the Apple, you need to uh, make sure the Apple home application should be updated to iOS 16.1 or about. And currently they have the Apple TV HD, Apple TV 4K, Home Pool, Home Pool Mini, in total four hubs that support Matter. For Alexa, all the Alexa support Matter, including the Echo, Echo Dot, Echo Tab, and including the first generation. And for the Google, there are Nest Wi Fi Pro, Google Home. Google Home Mini, Nest Mini, Nest Audio, Nest Hub, the first generation, the Nest Hub second generation, and the Nest Hub Max. For the Smart Things, Smart Things uh, 2015 Hub, Smart Things 2018 Hub, and the Smart Home Hub, all of the second and third generation of the Smart Thing Hub support matter. So if uh, if the customers buy a uh, matter devices, please uh, and they also he also wants to um, build a build a matter network. These controllers must be required. Okay, let's see how to install the matter devices. Uh, later, uh, we will take TP-Link Tapo P125M as an example to understand the configuration process of the matter products. So configuration process are verified to two situations. Uh, the first situation is the installation to the first ecosystem. And the second situation is the installation to second or subsequent ecosystems. 
uh, please take, pay attention. These two situations are different from the, the configuration process. So first of all, let's see how to pair a master device, TAPO P125M, to the first ecosystem. Here we take Alexa app as the example. First, you need to connect the third party controller. Here we take a Alexa Echo Generation 2 as example. You need to connect this Echo Generation 2 to your home Wi-Fi and successfully bound to the third party app, the Alexa app. And the second, when you open the Alexa app, um, you can see um you can see a scan like the matter devices are the scanning for the matter devices you can scan the qr code on the body of the matter devices or manually enter the number uh, numeric code for commissioning here you can see that this is the p125m there is a qr code this qr code is only for the first time uh, installation for matter so you use the Alexa app to scan this QR code. And then the matter devices, uh, once the commissioning is complete, the matter devices is well automatically added, be added to the phone's Wi-Fi connection and can be controlled through the Alexa app. So um, different from the normal tap or CASA devices, uh, we need to use the the other ecosystem to install your the plug, the matter plugs. Uh, please notice that the router needs to connect it to the internet during the whole pairing process. So after paired, the P125M and your phones and your Alexa Echoes are in the same network. Uh, here's the videos about how to configure the, the P125 in the Alexa. First, open the Alexa app and press click on add a device. Choose the matter device. Locate it and scan the QR code. Scanning, connecting. And choose a home Wi-Fi for this plug. Please choose the home Wi-Fi your phone and Alexa using. Okay, device found and detected. So now this plug, the plug will be added into Alexa app and you can control it through the Alexa app. This is the first installation to, uh, sorry, it's, it is the installation to the first ecosystem. So what, um, there are two questions. Uh, when um, you may curious uh, when when you set up these plugs. First, uh, what if I have no matter enabled hub? Can I pair my matter enabled devices to third party application for normal use? Uh, answer no. You need a third party matter enabled hub to get your matter devices paired to the corresponding app first. But you can use the TP-Link matter enabled devices as normal smartphone devices with Tapo or Casa app without a matter hub. What does it mean? That means without a matter hub, you cannot to install or set up this the matter 
uh, devices into the third party applications directly. But if you don't have a hub, you can regard it as a normal plug, smart plug, and to set it up in the Casa or Tapo app. Question two. Uh, after pairing my Tapo Casa Matter device to my Tapo Casa ecosystem, is it able to do smart action or automation with my other Tapo Casa non matter devices in the Tapo Casa ecosystem? Um, so, to be sure, this question should be like um, whether can I pair my Casa? Tapo matter device, uh, can my Tapo custom matter devices to achieve the smart action or automation with other um, non matter devices? Answer is yes. You can set automation or smart action between your matter devices and non matter devices in the Tapo or Casa app. But the automation or smart action about cannot take effect if your home Wi-Fi disconnected from the router. I'm sorry, disconnected from the internet. That means uh, the matter devices and non-matter devices uh, cannot implement automation or smart action without internet. Only two matter devices or and multiple matter devices can uh, implement automations or smart actions in local network without internet. <clears throat> okay, and uh, the, the second situation is how to set up matter devices into Another matter uh, ecosystem. This situation is based on this. Uh, this matter device has already paired to the first ecosystem, and now you need to pair it to the second ecosystem. They are different. What's the difference? Let's see. First, step one, you need to connect another third-party controller to your home Wi-Fi and uh, successfully bound to the third-party app. So, firstly. The Apple Home app and the Home Port Mini is uh, hasn't haven't been bound to the Wi-Fi router or to link the, to the Wi-Fi router yet. So first step we need to do is to um, to assign in the Apple Home app and make sure your phone is connecting to your home Wi-Fi, and you need to set up your Home Port Mini into your Wi-Fi router so that they're all of these devices in the same Wi-Fi network. Step two, the QR code uh, or numeric code on the body of the P125M is no longer valid. Please pay attention. After first installation for the first ecosystem, this QR code of the P125M is no longer valid. And if you are uh, you are setting it up to the second ecosystem or the subsequent ecosystem, you need to reopen the pairing window from the Alexa app, which is the first ecosystem app, the setting page of the P125M, to acquire new QR code or numerical code to pair this plug. So uh, we already bound your phone which has already downloaded the Apple Home app, app and also connect your home port mini to the Wi-Fi router. You cannot use the, the Apple Home to scan the QR code on the body of the P125M anymore. Uh, instead, you need to open the Alexa app to release a new QR code for this plug. After Use the Apple Home to scan the new QR, uh, QR code from the Alexa app. Then the, this plug will be automatically added into the Apple Home application. Because the Apple Home, your, this phone will recognize the plug is already in the same network. This matter device is in the same network. 
so it will be added automatically. So let's uh, watch the video. So this is the Apple Home applications. But first, we are still in the Alexa app because we need to uh, release a new QR code from the Alexa app. Let's see. So first, uh, click on the our Meta plug and uh, turn it on. And there is another assist, other assistant pair apps. Then it will create a setup code. Here is a numeric code. You need to copy this numerical code and enter it in the Apple phone. We only uh, download the, the, the first uh, um, steps. So later you need to know, when I open the Apple uh, Home app, there is the add a, de add a device button, the plus button on it, in it. So click on that and um, add devices button. Then you will see add a matter devices. Then you can enter this numerical code. So, <clears throat> as we talked uh, before, this plus has already been paired to the to two ecosystems: the Alexa system and Apple Home systems. So, um, after finishing the process of pairing. P125M has been paired to the two matter ecosystems. You can see the first ecosystem, the second ecosystem. At this time, Apple Home and Alexa have equal control of the P125M, and the status of the P125M will be synchronized to the two applications in real time. Okay, um, after understanding the differences between, uh, okay, next, let's learn about the TP-Link products, the TP-Link Meta products. The following form is the list of smart devices that we support and plan to support Meta, including the Casa Series plugs, the Tapple Series plugs, the Casa and the Tapple switches, the Tapple Light, the Casa Thermostat, the, um, the Tapple Hub, and the Tapple Sensor. But uh, up to now, only the P125, the Tapple P125M has been released and uh, sold in the market. And these models are on the way. So let's talk, uh, talk about some features, the, the special features or highlight features about the Tableau P125M. The Tableau P125M is the first matter enabled pro product that has been shipped so far. And it is a matter version developed on the basis of P125. And it's roughly the same as the P125 in terms of basic hardware and the basic firmware functions. And they also have the same appearance. But for the, the main differences is that the matter label on the P125M is used for the first matter onboarding and has the matter logo, while the label on the P125 is used for home kit onboarding. So the Two labels and the QR code are different. One is used for matter. The second is used for home kit. This is the main differences between the P125M and P125. There are small differences. Uh, there's a feature called auto-off. 
the P one two five M support auto off. That means when you can set a schedule for the P one two five M to uh or like a set um time a period for the P one two five M to make it uh turn off automatically. Like uh you can set a schedule turn on at seven PM but five minutes later to turn it off. And the, the second, the main difference is the works with matter. The, of course, the P125M works with matter while the P125 doesn't. And auto, uh, local automation is the features uh, or also the advantage about the P125M. So P12, because as a matter device, it can uh, implicate local automation with other matter devices in the same network while the p1125 cannot reach a local automation they still it still need to send the data into the cloud and back to the devices so this process need a uh, internet while the p125m can don't need the internet to achieve the local automation and for the control sharing is like the the right from different accounts for p125 the manage, manager account and owner accounts have different privileges while the p125m all of the admin has the same privileges the local control the p125 if your phone actually this local control is not the the normal the normal one we understand. Uh, actually, this local control means the local automation. That means, yeah, for, for example, you cannot use the Alexa app to control your P125, even though they're in a, in a local network without internet. But for the P125M, you can use the third party app to control it in a local network uh, without internet. Okay, um, after understanding the differences between the P125 and the P125M, let's take a look at a few features that are unique to the P125M. The first is that the TAPO P125 supports multiple config uh, configuration methods. You can configure the P125M through a third party app that supports Meta not limited to the TAPO app. So the normal smart plugs, the TAPO smart plugs can be only uh, set up by the TAPO app, right? But for the Meta devices, it can be set up through the other third party applications. And commissioning your matter product to any matter supported app or application you like. Add Tapo matter product to the smartphone ecosystems you are more preferred. In addition, the Tapo P125M supports auto off, automatically turns off a connected device after the device is left on for a set time, lowering your energy, device, uh, energy use. The third feature is what we mentioned before, local control and bounding. That is to say, when you initiate local control request to matter light paired to Google Home, Google Home will simply tell the light to turn on over your Wi-Fi or red network without having to relay your command to the cloud and the back to your light. Local control is it means bypass the cloud server to let the matter devices in the same network to talk each other directly. Uh, there are some questions about um, the matter devices or the protocol. 
So question one, how many third-party ecosystems can network devices be paired to at the moment? <clears throat> so currently it can be paired uh, up to five ecosystems of which pairing to Apple Home is considered to occupy two ecosystems. There will be no restriction on this in the future. Uh, what does mean pairing to Apple Home is considered to occupy two ecosystems? Uh, for instance, if you, if you have an Apple Home, like Apple HomePod Mini in your home and you download the Apple Home applications, uh, once you pair the, the matter device, the P125M into the Apple Home, then it will leave only three ecosystems to be paired because the Apple Home will occupy two ecosystems. Uh, we are not sure the reason, but currently um, it occupies two ecosystems. Maybe in the future, the new firmware released will support um, there is no restriction for the ecosystems. Question two. Can now metric devices support metal by updating the firmware? Um, it depends on different manufacturers, but for TP-Link, it doesn't support it at the moment. So that's the P125 cannot uh, support matter by updating the firmware. Question three. Can TP-Link Matter product up, uh, operate firmware directly on a third-party app it is paired to? Uh, actually, Matter is supposed to find the device firmware upgrade link with the help of the DCL and the connected controller under the ecosystem to complete firmware upgrade. However, the third-party apps we cooperate with have, haven't developed this function interface yet. So we cannot upgrade the firmware directly um, in the third-party app. The third-party uh, third app may, um, may inform you a firmware upgrade link, and this link will lead you back to the Apple link. Question 4. Can many devices continue to work as a rather disconnected application? when an automation practice continues to take effect. Yes, of course. You can continue to switch control through the app or other third-party speaker as controller displaying for voice control. At present, local bounty automation is not yet supported and will be built, developed later to support. Question five, what if matter enabled device unbounds from the paired ecosystem? So um, for example, we we have the we have installed the P125M into three ecosystems. Uh, what, what will happen if I unbound it from one of the ecosystems? If I unbound the a uh, matter enabled device from paired matter ecosystem. Uh, it won't reset the device. If the if this device unbound from a single ecosystem, matter enabled device could still be controlled in other paired ecosystem. It's just unbound from one uh, account, but for the other account, it's still bounding. If matter enabled device unbounds from all of the ecosystem, and you want to pair. You need to pair it to another matter ecosystem. You need to reset it, the device, and make it in matter onboarding mode, like the first onboarding process. So if you just unbound it from the TP link, the Tapo or Casa app, you still you can still uh, control it from the other ecosystem like Alexa or Google Home. But if you reset it or remove it, like reset it like here, what if matter enabled device is removed from the tablet and has a app? If you remove it, 
scan the map enabling devices to see factual reset and it shows unresponsive in all the proof of completion. Um, what, question seven, what will happen if we receive a scheduled conference for when our setup is scheduled for the magic device on multiple third party ecosystems? So if there is a scheduled conflict, the magic device will respond to the scheduled commands for from each ecosystem in, in order in the order they, they are received. Um so let's take an example. Mm -hmm. I have the Alexa app and I have a Google Home app. Uh, in the Alexa app, I set a schedule which is to turn on this clock um 7 p.m. But for the Apple Home, I set another schedule which is to, to turn off this clock on 7 p.m. So in this situation, as we know, the third party uh, the commands from the third party app will to send to the cloud server at first and then back to the, the hub and the hub will send transfer these commands to the device. So in this situation, if the device received the, the first response uh, the first commands from from the first hub, then it will respond for the first schedule and then later it will respond to the second schedule. So, um, generally speaking, for the person, we can hardly see uh, which is the first and which is the second. But the, the cloud will respond uh, the second schedule and show you the result of the second schedule they received. So, but uh, we still suggest that the customers do not set a complicate a conflict schedule in uh, different ecosystems. Question eight: What's the difference between um, I linked my TP-Link ID to Alexa to control my non native devices, and I control my native devices, which is paired to the Alexa directly? So format requires, I link the TP-Link ID to Alexa to control my non meta devices, um, requires the use of the cloud server. If Wi-Fi is disconnecting from the internet, the, then the formal one cannot be down. And the latter could be down locally, even if the Wi-Fi is disconnected from the internet because it's bypassed the cloud server. Uh, instead, extend the commands to the controller or the hub directly. Question 9. Will Council Tapo be able to control network devices from other manufacturers? Yes, supporting for matter will be updated in the subsequent versions, but currently we cannot. Question 10. After I bought a TP-Link matter device, how can I pair it directly to the customer tackle? Uh, just onboard the matter devices as you add other normal TP-Link smart home devices to CASA or tackle. Tap add on the right top corner of the app um, and select the corresponding model of your device and then pair your device at instruction in the app. So like the, the other normal um, smart devices in the TP-Link. If you pair these matter devices in this way, um, actually it cannot use the, um, the, it cannot be controlled by the other third party app because you still need to bond it to the other Alexa app and uh, to repeat this onboarding process again. If you just uh, set it up in the Tableau or Casa app, it's just like a single smart uh, block. Question 11, can I continue to add Meta 30 uh, by the device to Tapo app after it is successfully paired with Meta? Yes, let the smartphone and the Meta 35 device in the same local network, the main page of the Tapo 
app will pop up a window to inform you that a new device has been discovered. You could also manually click crash on the upper right corner of the main page to, to add this device. So uh, it's easy to set up in the Tapple or in a Casa app if you have already paired it to another ecosystem. Because um, once the Tapple and Casa discovered there is a local network devices and it belongs to the TP-Link, it will dis uh, discover it automatically and add it automatically. That's all for today. Um, for all of the training materials today, do, do you guys have any problems? No problem so far. Okay. Uh, if you have um, problems later, you can send me an email and make a conclusion for all the questions you have, okay? Sure, will do. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Thank you so much.